Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the HyperX Cloud Alpha versus the Sennheiser GSB300. Both of these are wired gaming headsets that are compatible with PC, PS4, Xbox One X, basically anything that has an aux input. I found both of them on sale for $80 and they both come with a two year warranty. Also, both of them come in a variety of colors so you have some options to choose from. Now right now there are so many gaming headsets on the market and it can become a little challenging deciding which one to buy that's worth the money and is right for you. If wireless is not a huge concern for you, then I think these are two fantastic options to consider because they're unique and they have fantastic quality that's also under $100, which makes it really nice options for those that are on a budget. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and discuss some of the differences and see if one of these might be your next gaming headset. Also guys, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to help support my channel. For the HyperX Cloud Alpha, in the box it comes with a carrying pouch, a six and a half feet long braided cable, as well as some paperwork and manual. For the Sennheiser GSP300, in the box it comes with the manual and paperwork, and also a splitter cable. Now as far as how long the cables are that are attached to the headsets out of the box, for the Sennheiser GSP300 it's six and a half feet long, and for the HyperX Cloud Alpha it's four and a half feet long. Now one thing to mention about the HyperX is that if you unplug the cable that comes with it, you can actually use your own 3.5 millimeter cable and plug it in, which is a really cool feature. Now as far as the design, starting with the Sennheiser GSP300, it's all gray with the blue design mainly on top of the headband. And you have the mic that's in this position and you can't bring it closer to your mouth or away from your mouth. It's basically in this position. Now, if you raise the mic all the way to the top, it mutes the mic. And for the cable and the mic, both of them are not detachable. So you cannot detach either one of them. On the right ear cup, it has a volume knob where you can increase or decrease the volume of what you're hearing. Not the chat volume, but the let's say the music inside the game. Now when it comes to the design for the HyperX Cloud Alpha, you have this all black and red finish that just looks really clean overall. It looks and feels like such a premium gaming headset and especially on the top headband, it has this really nice stitching across and just feels very sturdy. And I, the best word for this is just very premium. Now for the mic and cable, both of them are detachable. So you can detach the mic and the cable. And for the mic, it has a, it's an inline control where in the, in the, you can decrease or uh, increase the volume and also mute the mic. Now, as far as flexibility, first up, the HyperX Cloud Alpha, it's pretty flexible. You can twist and turn and very flexible here. Uh, for the Sennheiser GSP, GSP 300, same thing. It's pretty flexible. You can twist and turn. Now, one thing that both of them can do is the ear cups can't turn all the way. Both of them are, this is the furthest it goes on both of them. Now, when it comes to comfort, both of them have the leather memory foam padding. And I would say both of them are just very comfortable. For the Sennheiser GSP 300, when I wear it, uh, I don't, if there's not a lot of clamping force and the headband on top doesn't feel like this is putting too much pressure on my head and overall just feels very light and fits very nice. My ears have a nice distance from the driver and overall I would say this just provides a very comfortable feel and you can easily wear it for two to three hours with no discomfort. Uh, for the uh, HyperX Cloud Alpha, Alpha, same thing. When I put it on, same thing. There's not a whole lot of clamping force. The headband is very light on top of your head. You don't feel any pressure. And easily, again, uh, my ears have a good distance from the driver. And uh, you can easily wear these for two to three hours just as a Sennheiser. And overall, uh, I would say that both of them are just very comfortable and equal in that area. So now I'm gonna do a mic demonstration starting with the Sennheiser GSP 300. So this is what the Sennheiser GSP 300 sounds like. I would say there's not a lot of nasally or my voice doesn't sound digital or anything. It sounds pretty clean and there's great clarity. This is what it sounds like as I'm typing for background noise. This is what the HyperX Cloud Alpha sounds like. 
I put the microphone exactly in the position as the Sennheiser GSP 300, uh, three fingers away from my mouth. That's how much distance it was for the Sennheiser. So uh, I'm going to bring it closer in just in a second. But this is what it sounds like. Again, uh, I think this one sounds great as well. Provides great clarity, not really nasally and very detailed in the sound and very very impressive no complaints honestly just sounds sounds great for a mic uh now i'm gonna bring it a little bit closer and this is what it sounds like when i bring it closer uh this is what it sounds like when i bring it closer what do you guys think uh closer or at least three fingers away let me know what you guys think down below in the comments which one do you guys like and let me know your thoughts and opinion so as far as the sound quality, I spent time gaming, listening to music, and also watching movies on both of them. And first up, as far as their similarities, both of them have really nice detailed mids and highs and provide a really nice organized, tight, punchy bass. They also both provide a pretty good clarity where you can hear a lot of, you know, like for example, whenever you're playing a first person shooter games, you can hear enemy footsteps from a distance, you know, which side they're coming from. So in that area, it's really, really nice. Now, what really separates both of these headphones and makes them unique in their own way is the bass and clarity. For the Sennheiser GSP 300, it offers more clarity, whereas the HyperX Cloud Alpha, it offers more bass. Now, the bass on this isn't like the type where your ear, ear cups are going to be rattling, but definitely more, more bass on this one. And a little less bass on this one, but more clarity. Now, let, let's use an example. Let's say you're playing a first-person shooter game like Call of Duty, Destiny 2, or something like that, and you throw a grenade. That boom sound, when it's, hit, when it's boom, it's going to sound a lot cooler on this one. In my opinion, it's going to sound boomier on this one. Whereas for this, for, for the Sennheiser GS3, GSP 300, let's say if you're playing a game in like a sword game and you slice through something, it's going to sound really sharp and clean on this one. So that's mainly the, the main difference as far as audio quality. Now, I played with both of them and both of them were really enjoyable and I, I don't think there's really much to complain as far as the sound. It just depends. Do you like more bass or more clarity? Another example is let's use music, for example. For music, if you're going to listen to rap, rock, or EDM, I would say the HyperX Cloud Alpha would sound a little bit better because of the extra bass. For music with a lot of vocals, instruments, like piano, guitar, and stuff like that, the Sennheiser GSP 300 is going to be uh, the headphone that, headset that sounds a little bit better in that area. One thing to mention about the sound quality on the HyperX Cloud Alpha is that it has this dual chamber technology which basically separates the mids, highs, and the bass to create a unique sound. Now after using it and listening to it in gaming and music and everything, I personally didn't notice a huge difference. I would say it's not like one of those things where it's like a night and day difference, but it's definitely a cool feature to have. Now, as far as my overall recommendation is first, if wireless is not a huge concern for you, then definitely both of these are gonna be two fantastic options to consider. I would just take all the factors mentioned and everything in, in this video and all my opinions and decide which one of those, you know, is the best for you. But I can say definitely that with both of these, you're going to be really satisfied and they provide great audio quality and great performance. So both of these are fantastic options and I think you'll really like them. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. I really hope it was helpful and points in the right direction. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll be sure to help you guys out. Also guys, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until then, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.